Hi guys, Dorota Polska International, new artist and educator here and we are in Wit Olivia like getting rid of this set. As you can see it, it lasted really well, actually too well <laughs> uh, because we are well overdue uh, with the rebalance of them. So I'm just pushing back the cuticles. How old? Oh my goodness, this growth is crazy. Uh, should be five weeks tomorrow. Yeah, so... <laughs> So they, they are kind of desperate to to get redone. Okay, I'm just gonna remove the design and any lifting. Olivia always get the lifting on yes, her. Quite a bit. Is it? Oh no, I'm scared now. On the ends, it's my fault. Okay, so I'm just removing the design. It's mostly the the, the usual thing. Okay, this one is all good. I would say. This one is lifting at the free edge. Okay. Just a little bit and a yeah, tiny... Like yeah, so I've got some lifting here as well and I'm just gonna file a little bit more and then jump to another needle, guys. This will prevent the heat fraction and it makes... Um, the process of getting the needles done painless. Okay, I can go back into this needle and file a little bit more. Yeah, in five weeks it's like <clears throat> no go for Olivia. We always should have her needles redone like uh, every three weeks. It's just a matter of no time. Yeah. This one is okay, probably. And then the thumb. But yeah, as you can see it, I'm jumping. Like, I do not risk filing too long in one place. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I've been picking up the lifting, so I've made it worse. Okay, I'm going back to this needle and I'm filing more. As you can see, there are the things which are jumping off from it. And that's the loose product. And sometimes it is really hard to spot the loose product. Uh, so you do really have to observe like how the things are behaving on the needles and you have to really make sure you get rid of any loose places. Okay, I'm filing at really probably a maximum speed my e-file can take. Um, but as I'm getting so close to the natural needle, I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. So I'm turning and... Sorry, I wasn't on the maximum. I was on 32 and the maximum is 35. Now I'm at 19, which is a little bit low, but I am really almost at the natural needle. And I'm just touching it so gently. Oh. This should be called like a removal of the fiber and a fresh application. <laughs> and you can see it, this is all loose. So what I'm doing now is instead of filing there, I'm just filing below it. And fiber gel is, uh, the, the one in the bottle is quite hard to file. That is all loose here as well. I'm just not touching this place. I'm filing around it. So eventually it's kind of just comes off on its own. And this is always the best way to do it. Don't touch the place which is lifting. Uh, just keep filing kind of around it. So this place kind of comes off on its own. <clears throat> okay, now I'm just gonna grab the hand file, 180 by 100 grit, and for the lifting, uh, so first of all, again, like remove the sharp edges, and for the lifting area, I can easily use a 100 grit, so if I'm filing on the product, I can use a 100 grit, and then when we are on the natural needles, we always swap to 180 grit. 
So here, first of all, I'm doing less fractions and less movement because I'm on with the stronger file and this is definitely a better option. Because, um, yes? You're saying fractions instead of friction. Friction, okay. Friction. friction. I don't... Fraction is a bone fraction. Friction. Yes. Okay. So I'm trying to prevent friction. Oh, yeah. wow. Friction. Friction, okay. And then I have to be very gentle here because you must have bend I it. Have. Bend I've, it. I've, not properly, but yeah. Okay, so I'm on the. Oh my goodness, this set is terrible. Five weeks. Too long for you. I've been busy and doing everything. And but they, the, I think fiber like always does it on your nails. Three weeks is yeah. what you can get maximum, but then the hard gel as well. It's, it's just me. Because on most of the clients, we can get like I can. I mean, on some of the most of the clients, four weeks is absolutely fine and no bother. I've, I've got clients have eight, five, five and everything. I've it's got really just my nails. My record, the client had it on for three months, not a single lifting crashy. It was crazy. Now, I, when I'm filing on the natural nail, guys, uh, I'm on the other side, so it's 180 grit, and I'm gently just giving scratches to it and shortening a free edge. So this one is absolutely intact. I don't have to worry about it. This one we have removed most of the loose place and as you can see it now I'm just giving gentle scratches to the natural nail shortening a free edge. What shape do you want them? We can do more almond this time if you yeah. want, yeah? Yeah, because last time we had to go short because my nails were a bit rough. Okay, so we are gonna Turn the round shape into rounded almond. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a more oval than round, basically. I like the almond shape, but usually they're too short for it. But at the same time, you don't want them to. I don't want to. Too, too long. Much. Yeah. And take too much of the length today, yeah. I meant the sides. So I don't want to take too much off the sides. Side walls so they don't snap. So they don't snap. Don't want them too long so they don't snap. Yeah. <laughs> I might go back to square. Next, next time? Year. No, next year. Okay. <laughs> If I'm gonna do a new shape, I might as well wear it to death, basically. See, you're quite lucky because you're suiting all the shapes. Mm -hmm. Not many people can suit all the shapes. Do you think my square nails last me better? They do, because they are shorter. Okay. They do, definitely. But you wear them much, much, much shorter. Because you make them short because you don't like long squares. I don't like long squares. Neither do I. Okay. To be honest, yes, squares should be nice and short. Like, I think it looks. Um, coffin can be longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it but has to be long. Too short for coffin at the same time. Okay, again, I'm trying to remove those loose product where the bend happened. It. I don't like how soft my nails feel when I have like no product and I've bent them and that stuff. Okay, that's it all nicely off. Again, mm -hmm. nice and gentle. I'm just thinking sometimes maybe we should this nail, another thing about this specific nail is as it grows longer it really starts bending the, the, to the, the side, side walls end up bending inwards if you know what I mean mm -hmm. so it starts coming off from the gel I can cut it and do a fresh sculpted extensions if you, if you wish to I'm really not bothered do 
No, I'm just checking. To be honest, that might prevent the lifting. Sometimes when the, the nails lift like and they do not behave, it's better to give it a fake extension to it um, rather than keep the natural nails. The natural nails tend to work much more than the extension do. We can't go five weeks on you. This is really bad. Okay, I have to remove there is a loose product and I'm so gentle about it. I've got it almost. It doesn't work this way. I know it doesn't. My goodness. What a state of them. How we are gonna call this video. Mm -hmm. We saved the disaster. <laughs> Fixing a disaster after five weeks of wearing. Mm -hmm. My goodness. I'm getting like chills down my spine from how it feels. Mm -hmm. I don't like the feeling as well. Oh my goodness, I can't believe. Yeah, next set like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> they looked okay from the top. <laughs> you know, from the top they look amazing. I think maybe one of the nails I had used the e-file on during pedicures, so it was a bit scuffed. But they were perfect from the top. Bit grown out, but perfect otherwise. Yeah, but that also shows you guys as well. Like, even if the nails look perfect from the top, um, on specific hands, specific clients, like um, the maintenance is needed sooner because there is lots of stuff going on underneath. And like with Olivia, those fingers she uses the most, and obviously she's right-handed, are the nails which are always going like really fast. Now I have uh, done the. Um, uh, remove the dust and now we are gonna just do a little bit of the cuticle work again not that she has cuticles <laughs> um, but first of all like i i must say that i am so happy that when she was a child she never bit her nails too badly uh, because everyone bites the nails to be honest that's the truth i used to bite mine as well and uh, that's her cuticles have been never overdone they have been always pushed they have been even trimmed sometimes like um, but never overdone so like i'm always extremely careful when doing olivia's cuticles um to don't send almost like a message and signal like oh there is a trauma we need to grow we need to protect um so i'm always doing like a very very minimal work on her and and because of it, like she've got probably the most amazing cuticles from all my clients. So nicely, just what I've got on the nail plate and a little bit on the nail fold. Now, final inspection before I put the product on, because I do not trust myself, like, you know, we were talking, we were showing different things. I'm just checking if there is any other places which might have to um, be scratched again, so there is no shine. And also, I'm checking for any places, like, as I say, when we... Friction! Ah, I got it right! <laughs> so, when we've got the friction of the file, we can sometimes cause the lifting ourselves. So the lifting is not going to be visible and then with the friction of the file mm -hmm. <laughs> we are creating this lifting. So I'm always kind of checking it uh, again after myself. Now I have removed the dust and now I'm using the blue scrub to dehydrate the nail plate. 
because we want to make sure it's really dehydrated. And what I'm gonna do it is normally I don't do it on Olivia. Um, but just in case. I'm just doing it a second time. Um, doing it a second time just to make sure there is no oils and the nail plate is really nicely dehydrated and extra nail prep again which is some dehydration process gosh this video is gonna be so long <laughs> like I'm so chilled we finished working guys we just stayed after hours and uh, and yes you can turn the fan off thanks so I don't have to so it's oh wow my back <laughs> that was a shooting pain oh no um Satin pink gel. Oh, that was bad. Uh, it's universal air bond. <laughs> you don't want to see my face, guys, now. <laughs> we are too chilled, actually. I would know it, uh, we're missing would something. I would realize, obviously. I would realize we're missing something. Um, because... I thought I'd save you the trouble. Thanks. <laughs> Because the nail plate would be too dry, you know. The Universal Air Bond is our base gel. Gosh, I'm so disorganized. <laughs> I wanted to go home. Do you want mine? I've got one it? here. Maybe if there is something. Yes, there is something. So I'm using a satin pink. Guys, here's a quick thing about the colors. So satin, silk. Let's start from the lightest one. Silk pink is almost see-through pink like almost clear it just has it those it's like a nice tint it just have i would say it's almost clear it uh, if you're using it on like really short nails it goes clear if you're using it a lot thicker you'll get like a slight i mean slight tint you had something black underneath there <laughs> no idea like i don't want to dig it out it's definitely not on the nail plate it's underneath anyway um yeah so the silk Pink is the lightest one, almost see through, almost clear. Then we've got satin pink, and that's what I'm using at the moment. So this is a satin pink, and this one is like uh, milky pink, crooked. And um, so this is a satin pink, and then we've got which is a medium one, and that's the one which I would say is the most popular one in a salon. Like we use it the most, and then we've got pink velour, and pink velour is like perfect rose. So you can see it as much, much darker. I need to do the swatches oh, maybe. It's very opaque compared to the other. Yes, things. and the satin pink, I would use it for most of my clients, for all the baby boomers. And the pink velour, I'm only using for the clients which are wearing a French manicure. And I need to conceal the uh, free edge. Because with this one, you can still see a little bit of it. I mean, obviously, depending on the thickness, uh, but I'm usually applying it really nice and thin. Now, what I did, we've got 22 degrees in here uh, in a salon, which is quite warm. And I applied the product only on the on the pinky and I did the apex. Uh, and then I realized that like, no, this is actually too warm. So then I did just thin layer in here. And now I did thin layer on all of them. <laughs> now I'm just reapplying a thin layer in here. And I'm going to build up my apex. Depending on the temperatures in a room, depending on the temperatures of my product, depending on the situation on the nails, like how much product I need to replace, I would adjust my work. Like, I mean, obviously it's not, I have to, like, because it's a different situation I'm facing. Um, I'm just twisting my client hand and then building up apex here. Another thing, very important, guys, all those base gels, rubber base, rubber gels, fibers in the bottles, uh, gels and biops, whatever they called, freeze it. Uh, I have turned it quickly, my lamp, into low heat settings. Watch for those gels uh, because they can cause chemical burns. And that's what people mistake quite often for allergic reactions and the things I take it back. Um, this is happening when you apply your product so thick. So here I'm not bothered because I apply my product very nice and thin. There is no way my client is going to feel any heat spike. Do not let your clients feel heat spike. Warn them. Tell them that uh, they need to put their hand inside. The so first of all, either change your lamp settings to the slow curing first. Uh, get this uh, product um, to be slow cooked first. 
and then you can raise your temperatures like I would call it in the oven <laughs> and you can fry them further like for another 60 seconds okay uh, this will prevent any kind of chemical burns uh, so please keep that in mind <laughs> okay I'm just applying a little bigger apex now a tiny bit more in here and I'm just gonna cook Olivia for a few seconds it's only a few seconds she's on a fast mode take it out no, I want to actually show it, show it what I, I'm doing. So three seconds in, it's a full, um, full, full power we cooking. Take it out. Even if you don't feel the heat spike, guys. Three you know, seconds before, the, before heat the heat. If you feel it, it's too late. Yeah, exactly. If you feel it, it's too late. So I never let my clients feel it. Your clients wouldn't. Oh gosh, we're going into so many different subjects <laughs> now. But I think this is important. So the clearer, clear, clearer. the clearer the gel. The more heat spike you are gonna feel, the because more light gets through. yes, the and it is kind of like I mean, that's what it is. You've, in the gels, you've got the stuff called BPO, and this one is like um, I always call it like the light is a DJ, which <laughs> will play the music, and once the music is on, everyone start to dance, and like there is you know so much stuff going on on the needles, and it's the same with the gel molecules, like. To polymerize, they need the DJ, which is a light, <laughs> and then the things is, <laughs> things are happening. I take it back. Uh, so, the, also the more product you've got on, the more you are gonna feel it. So, thin layer, clients can keep their hand entire time. Um, apex and a structure, I have. Uh, all, I do always warn my clients, and I let them uh, play. Okay, I'm just. Uh, we don't just the playing, so they are absolutely safe to stay in a lamp for for 60, 60 seconds and I'm gonna cook them and then I tell you about the colors and the curing and the uh, heat spike as well. So let's cook them 60 seconds. Perfect. Yes, so the, um, dark, the more darker the color, the more pigments is in it, the less heat spike you feel it. Um, so like I'm, I'm never bothered about the color gels as more the clear ones and the see-through ones. I have removed the inhibition layer and now I'm just gonna shape those nails here. There we are. Nicely on the side walls. Very gentle. I love it because the gel runs and you can kind of save time on filing, I would say. It doesn't take, it self levels, it doesn't take that long to file it. Uh, as you can see it, I have just filed it in some places. That's that's plenty uh, on this one, nice and straight, nice and straight, making sure the side walls are nice and thin. Don't try to be, um, apply too thick those products. Like, you know, they are not designed for like um, long extensions. They are designed for a natural nails to give them a little bit more strength um, to allow to grow them longer than the gel polish. So I'm always keeping it really nice and thin. And I find that if the clients are gonna break the needle, they will break it, doesn't matter the thickness, to be honest. <laughs> um, I was, um, this is a question you guys ask me quite often, like how you are not gonna break your needles because they are so thin, like, they look really don't. thin. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, they, they look thin, they do really look thin, but they are not that thin. Uh, it's a structure, it's the way I'm filing them, it's the way I'm shaping them, like I'm making sure like, um, so I'm making sure always my side walls are nice and thin, that's my free edge is nice and thin, that's around the cuticle area, I've got only top coat, uh, because there is no need for more product, you actually want only a top coat so you don't see the growth. Um, as you could see, Olivia's nails was five weeks old and they looked okay from the top. <laughs> so... Um, Yes, don't try to like, I don't know, make the nails much, much thicker. A clients which um, have the lifestyle like which, which make them snap the nails, um, they will do it. Doesn't matter what thickness you apply on. With uh, Olivia, I sometimes have dilemma. Uh, I mean, I can definitely blame the fact that we are doing her nails really like I think two my nails, big it's gaps. Blue scrub. It's a blue scrap as well. And I can't lie, I've been itching my legs this month a lot. Okay. More often. 
Okay. So maybe I'm scratching it off because it's the ends. So I'm sometimes thinking like I had one client for. It's really where I actually recorded on her as well the gel polish application because this is the client on which the gel polish actually looks better than the fiber gel. Um, so I'm sometimes swapping clients from one product to another to find out what is the best solution, but I have to be 100% sure this is a fault of the product uh, compatibility with their nails and. Um, and in Olivia's, I'm sometimes thinking, should we maybe try just a gel polish? The hard gel is no for Olivia, because unless hard gel, unless it's a fresh set of the extension, because the hard gel lifts on Olivia. Because my nails like to bend, like to start growing out. Yes. So hard gel is no option for Olivia's nails. A fiber gel... Gel ten... polish lasts fine. It's just I wouldn't be able to have the length, because I know for myself I would, I would then snap them if they were long and thin okay i do need uh, i'd have to have them shorter if we did just gel polish but then i have been doing um or we do base top cut to base top cut there is a trick you do thicker so, using gel polishes yes so base gel but then i'm wondering would you not be better off just doing fiber in a bottle but making it thinner anyway rather than doing so much structure but it's a different product. Gosh, this thing is annoying with me. You have to clean it, Olivia. <laughs> you want me to do it now? No, it's okay. Don't dig in underneath of your nails. Um, it's probably makeup. No, no, no. It's just a wee... Like wee black bit. Wee black dot, to be exact. Like would a wee not, dot. Would that not be like mascara or eyeliner? No. No. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm, uh, gosh, we are too chilled. So I can't record on Olivia. Hi. Uh, so we are buffing the nails. <laughs> we are buffing the nails, guys. Um, nice and gentle. And I'm using 100 by 180 grit buffer. And you can see the difference already, like how, they, how nicely they start looking. Um, and once we buff them, we can move on into the design part which will be something with black black but and summer <laughs> okay <laughs> something black but summery okay i've been craving black nails for so long but i'm like i can't do it i can't do it but i want it too much but it it'll be too depressing okay what about that. some uh, flowers like a neon pigments we could use on back neon pigments looks cool yes I got that done years, 2019, I think I did black neon nails. That's what looks super cool. Okay, we decided on our next set, uh, on the... <laughs> I am tired, guys. It's been a long day. A really long day, and a really busy day. Um, like, I mean, our day, like, you know yourself, like, if you if you work in an asylum, how it is, so... Uh, yeah, we are gonna do black with neon pigments. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do the same on the other hand and then come back to you. Okay, all ready for a new arch. So yes, black. Something black, something black. I'm just grabbing my brush. And the black gel. Just grabbing a scoop of it. Get my brush to do some exercise. Mm -hmm. Some stretches. Yeah, some stretches because like, I mean, when it's in a draw, it can sometimes be a little bit stiffer. So I always like to train it up. Perfect. And uh, just go and go like pretty random. So nice faith in there. And then color it in. Just 
Okay, then on this one, I'm just gonna do it more. Maybe on this side. Pull the needle folds down. And then once you've got nice edges, just color it in. Actually, I can do it even more in there. You know what? I would actually, like, I've got different idea in my head, but at the same time, I know that's like white stars and dots will go with it so much as well. Um, again, nice and wavy. Get those corner in and then color everything. Okay, just for a balance again, I'm coming more from the top in here. Make it baby. And just color it in. And on the farm. Get those corner in. Actually, even more. Let's do it more. I love Olivia's new folds. They are same like mine, really deep. So you have to guys watch it. They have to be almost pulled down all the time. Cook it. We are gonna cure it at uh, 60 seconds. And then here, I'm just gonna go like completely random again. Pull the snow fold down. And then color it in. Now, I don't want the repeat situation from the previous one. So after painting this needle, we are just gonna freeze it quickly uh, because the needle fold is pushed down for a couple seconds. Like you can see it, I'm just pulling it with my middle finger. And once you like go over 
will start bouncing back in. Yes, absolutely. So we've got just a couple. It's the worst when I'm doing my own nails. I'm trying to put a top coat on and it just starts flooding it because it touches. But I get that as well. Mm -hmm. Cook it. <laughs> okay, uh, my next step is to apply some top coat. And that's your finished. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. I mean, even on its own, it's not a bad set. Oh, come on, it's terrible. It's just missing I've something. Had someone asked me for this design before. Really? Yeah. Ah, okay, no, it's missing something. It, it was slightly different waves, but it was the same thing, basically. I think we just had like an extra thin one next to each thick one. Yes, and then it would be okay. Or even a white, like very thin white, or, mm -hmm. or it's just missing anything. something, anything. Yeah, absolutely. Now I'm just applying top coat on those four nails and then gonna finish the other one change. Okay, hey, so if I've got it on this side here, I can go on that side. Oi. Mm. Nice and thin, and then color it in. Change. Yes, I didn't do the thumb. <laughs> I just say to Olivia, I want to record a TikTok on the thumb. You've got some fluff on your index finger. So I'm just top coating all the nails here. Brilliant change. And I'm not too fussy about how I'm putting the top coat because the reason for this for this top coat is that we want to guys apply. Um, either chrome or transfer foil, I'm not sure yet. Um, and also we want to work with some pigments and I want the pigments to stick in only into the, um, the freshly painted parts. Like I don't want it to, to take the black um, and because it has some inhibition layer, it will take, so it's better to don't do a change. Now this right hand is ready for a buffing. So I'm just grabbing a buffer and I'm giving uh, nice scratches. Now, regarding the buffing, you don't want to use too rough buffer. If you do use too rough buffer, guys, uh, you will create too many scratches and your products are gonna get stuck into those scratches as well. So that's the secret of working with the pigments or like uh, chromes. If you don't want this messy look, try to use like as smooth buffer as possible, okay? So you can see that the surface is pretty nice and smooth. Um, uh, because I'm working with a hundred eighty grit rather than a grit hundred, so all I want to do it is just give it a couple scratches to it, but really small ones. And also, I wasn't fussy about the top coat how it is applied, and because we are gonna put a final top coat after we finish everything. And that will be the top coat, which I will be checking, like how the light reflects on it and making sure it's nice. I take the other hand, which is ready as well. Again, couple scratches and... Gosh, do you think we was visible in the camera? <laughs> I hope. No, I'm just checking. You know, it's quite difficult to... Talk to the news and at the same time operate the camera. Mm -hmm. Now here I've got a little bit more bulk, so I have twisted the side and then go back to 180 because I wanted it to be smooth. Perfect, so we are gonna remove the dust, clean it just in case if there is more dust. I need you more in the Sorry. camera. That's it. Okay. And, 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 and we are going to use the transfer foil. 
Sorry, Olivia, I just love transfer foil. Well, what are you thinking? So, so, first of all, we are needing to do like a transition in between the black and the other part. And we also need to do some flowers. So we are gonna have so much fun creating it. Don't risk it and don't do the foil first. So we are first of all gonna do the flowers, okay? Because it is still summer, I know it's crap. Gosh, I have used all my French gel. Oh no. Mine's basically empty as well. Oh no, I need to get a new French gel. Okay, dotting tool. And we are gonna do some cute microscopic flowers, okay? So, dot in here. Mm -hmm. Nice flower. It's a very pretty flower, Olivia. Mm -hmm. Dot in here. Then I can squeeze another one in there. I can squeeze one in here. I can do one in there. I definitely can squeeze one more. One more and one more. Oh my goodness. One in here and in there. And another one in here. One in here. Are you sure you're not doing a starry design? No. <laughs> no, it's not a star design. Cook it. Cook it. Has to be a flowers. No stars for you. No way. Leave the stars for all two. No, I don't stars it's just you were talking about stars and this looks it looks like, like almost what's yeah absolutely. so yeah guys this is another idea how you could do this set so it doesn't have to be flowers I can do one in here one in there one in there one in there wow four <laughs> This is actually quite hard to judge how many petals I'm going to be able to squeeze in. Uh, now, we have to cure it, it for... I have actually cured it for, for 30 seconds, but ideally you probably want uh, 60 seconds. That will be probably better because then the pigments will go on nicer. I've got my pigments here and now the middle... Um, can we do middle yellow? Yeah. And then the flowers, we will do them pink and purple and blue. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, should be fine. Or we can do all colors if you want. She doesn't. Change. I don't want the orange. I think it's the orange that's throwing me off. Okay, you don't want orange. Okay, so we want to go yellow in the middle. Microscopic amount of the pigment and just wrap this in. Yay! We've got yellow dot design. <laughs> okay, so I'm just rubbing the yellow pigment and I'm trying to use like as little pigment as possible. You know, guys, they are really so pigmented uh, that you do want to make sure you've got like a small we are not in a camera we are as small as possible perfect i'm happy with that give me the other hand the other hand was cured 60 seconds and i think to me this is a perfect cure because i have almost no inhibition layer. So I've got enough inhibition layer just to grab the pigment, uh, but not too much to don't smudge that pigment. Like, you know, I also trying to only do it over the black and don't go onto the slight colors. They shouldn't take the pigment in just because the surface is really nicely buffed. And as I say, we buffed it uh, quite smooth. Uh, so it shouldn't get any pigment stuck in there. Perfect, I take your right hand. Now we can start adding those flowers. Get the pigment away, like be always very careful. Like when you're working with the pigments, I always lift my fan so this is stabilized. Pick up the dotting tool and we are adding more flowers. Uh, the flower petal now.
<laughs> I actually love them. Look how tiny they are. Wow, it's cute. It's a Is there a reason you didn't finish the last one? Yes, I'm thinking it is going to be much easier if we do it colors separately. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it will. Much easier. Cook it and give me your other hand. I would say it is really simple design, but it is time consuming. Sometimes, you know, the simple designs can take ages because look how many dots we have to do it. Change. Okay, so now I want some pink. Very small amount of it. And again, first of all, I'm just trying to apply it in. I wonder if it would have been easier to do the black paint on yellow dots using the paint on gel. See, I they can. wouldn't be this bright. They wouldn't. It is they wouldn't like be this bright. Shadow. Like, there is no chance that the product, any kind of gel, will look this bright on top of the of the black. So, doing a white is probably a best best solution take it out so they don't cook too much I'm also trying to don't put too much of the pink pigment over the yellow. I mean, because we removed the inhibition layer um, by rubbing the previous pigments, it shouldn't take too much, but also I don't want to make it, it dirty looking. So I did in here. We've got orange dot. Alternatively, do the yellow top coat and then the pigments for the... Yellow is the worst one to do it because it's the lightest it's one. Nice. Yeah. I know, because if it was like blue... Perf... Uh, no. Here I'm gonna go purple. And purple is a very difficult pigment to work with as well because it's the... So does the blue because they are really highly pigmented. Okay, I grabbed the other one. What about the pink? Uh, oh. Purple. Pink in here. A 
for the consumes radiation. <laughs> and then remove the excess again. So what do you think of a set we're gonna do before we go away? For August? Yeah. I have no clue what we are gonna do. Because I think it falls basically perfectly just before we go. It's like four-ish weeks. I don't know. Uh, now this yellow... Um, this yellow one bothers me, so I'm just going to touch it up. <laughs> had to do it this way because it didn't look nice now it's better <laughs> okay now we need to do some blue ones the reason for it was like I didn't wrap the yellow properly like here there is no chance any other pigment will stick into it so be like you need to be really precise Now here I can paint um, more of those flowers just because they are separated so I'm not going to touch it. Perfect, cure it. Yeah. Do you want me to take it out after 60 seconds? No, it's okay, you can do it even longer, change, because then I'm not risking to transferring it that much. Okay, we want to do it also some blue, so... Again, I removed the excess of the pigment. And we're going with some blue. And more purple. So I'm just grabbing a new. Oh my goodness, see. I've got some purple one in here. And then remove the excess of the pigment. Okay, 
Yeah, grab your other hand. Remove the excess. Now here I've got hardly any space for a petal. Cook it. Okay, this one is done. I'm just gonna fix this yellow dot because otherwise it's gonna bother me so much. Uh, so I'm just gonna do some yellow gel polish. Just fixing it that's it change we can do now blue And a pink on this one. Perfect change. Okay, I've got all the flowers in here. So our next step is to grab those transfer foil gel. Go nice and thin around the black. What color? Which one you want? Any you want. You can pick this time. I mean, I would go those pale gold because it's so universal. It just goes with anything. But you can pick any you like. I don't know. Change. Silver or the pale blue. I know because you always have dilemma. Mm -hmm. I know the gold suits me better, but I like silver more. Yes, that's the that's the problem. The only thing is like with those gold one. It is such as pale gold that it looks. In between, so you can wear both gold and silver with it. I don't know. I need to. Uh, you need to decide, actually. Go for a pale gold. Pale gold, yeah. Swap. Did I not appreciate it for you? <laughs> I did. No, I'm just thinking. The silver is going to make the design look cold. So yes, and the gold warmer. Absolutely. Someone stole it. Someone stole my black. See yours. Your what? Someone stole my scissors. Like, there is no scissors here. Look. Did you not use them last time? Eh, no. Crazy. Okay, anyway, we've got those gold transfer foil. Probably for the packages. 
So they just keep going. Yes, okay. this is this is that's it. Like it's just changing everything. Absolutely. I think it just finishes it. It gives us look three feel to it and it just makes it a much nicer looking. Oh no. I, I knew it, it will happen once I place the foil. Do you know what I did? On the, on the yellow. Gel polish. <laughs> Not a big deal, guys. We can try to clean mm. it. I think this dot just doesn't like me. First of all, I didn't wrap enough yellow pigment over it. This dot really doesn't, this nail really doesn't like me. <sighs> we are gonna call this video disaster after disaster mm -hmm. on the index finger. <laughs> okay, I grabbed the other hand. Just my nails being absolute pain. No, 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 it's not your nails. I did mistakes and I think I do them in every video almost for a reason so you guys do not repeat them. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, so you guys do not repeat my mistakes. Don't laugh, Olivia. Uh, I, 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 I am tired. It has been a really long day. Like, you know, it's so late at night now, so... <laughs> I yeah. Okay, so I missed my pink. <laughs> There we are, perfect. Now let's let's analyze my mistakes, guys, so you do not do them. Okay, so first mistake I did was I didn't apply enough yellow pigment, which means I have been left with some inhibition layer here. Now I also didn't do nice foil there. Five seconds cook. Quickly cook, cook, cook. We need to finish the set. Need to go home. Okay, so <laughs> so analyzing my mistake. My first one was not applying enough yellow pigment. And then when I went, so there is only enough inhibition layer to take so much pigment. Cook it, doing too many things at once. And uh, on this dot, um, perfect. On this dot, the I had some room and the dot catched also the pink pigment. Okay, so make sure you, you wrap the pigment enough. So when you go in with the next one, you are not gonna, um, your inhibition layer is not gonna catch it. Gosh, does it make sense? I'm too tired to tell you yes or no. Okay, you're too tired as well. Okay, so basically, yeah, you have to wrap enough pigment in there. Then the second mistake I did was I used the gel polish and gel polish has an inhibition layer. So my transfer foil stick into that dot because this does this dot doesn't like me. <laughs> oh. Okay, top cut change. Perfect. So we are just gonna fix that one dot. But overall, it's a really nice, nice set. You just have to be careful, be careful and do exactly as it has to be. Like there is no room for a mistake. So the surface has to be bathed because if it's not uh, bathed um, gently, uh, you will create scratches and your pigment gets stuck in the scratches. You cannot have any inhibition uh, layer in the places you don't want because the pigments are going to stick into that as well. Um, the product has to be cured long enough to don't produce too much inhibition layer, but at the same time change, at the same time be sticky enough so the pigments are going to stick in. What else? Um, yeah, I think that's mainly, that's it. Okay, so I'm just quickly doing it with the gel polish. I mean, another solution for this design, if you don't have a, if you don't have the uh, pigments, is to, to paint white dots and then color them in with the gel polishes. Um, as I say, they, they wouldn't be this bright if you would use, um, if you would put them on the black. Now I have to touch up those pink ones as well because when I was cleaning the foil I have touched the tube. Then top coat over this one and I will be able to show you the final look of those 
news. I actually really enjoyed doing them. Like, I mean, they are not, they are hard and they are not hard. <laughs> Change. Okay, this very hand, easy, very easy, but yes, but you just have to follow exact. I like them. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like them too? Yeah. They're cute. Change. <laughs> they remind me of, they remind me of something. Okay. This one. See? Everything happening on this new. <laughs> okay, we are just gonna cook them and then I can show you the final look. Okay, so nice cleaning, like make sure there is no pigments, no residue, nothing. And then I can show you the final results. Of course, we have to wash those hands uh, to get rid of any pigment, apply some cuticle oil to get rid of the dehydration, and then we will be able to take a thumbnail picture, but I do. I think they look actually quite cute and summer in a black version. I hope guys you have really enjoyed this video. You have learned something as well, like uh, how to how to work with the pigments and don't do my mistakes. We're both sending you huge glittery hugs and see you in the next one. Bye.